So, <clears throat> we're going to look now at a couple of tests um, for aldehyde. Um, and these distinguish whether I've got an aldehyde or I've got a ketone. Um, so let's say, so, hmm, here's an unknown, what have you got? Um, it's even aldehyde or ketone, tell me, this would give you a good idea. So the first one is called Tollens test. Tollens test is quite well, it's the nicest one really. Why is it so nice? Well, because it uses silver. Um, so you take your aldehyde, it's called ethanol, um, and you use silver ions and you also need water. If you warm it up and you've got an aldehyde, because aldehydes can be oxidised, the aldehyde will be oxidised to the carboxylic acid. So here my ethanol is being oxidised to ethanoic acid, but this is the important one. It forms silver metal, and so you see the silver metal, and if you do it carefully, you'll actually see the silver metal come out of solution and coat the surface of the glass, so you get this silver mirror effect. If you do it right, it can be quite tricky. Okay, so that is Tollin's test, which you need to know. Now, you can simplify this. This, is, this kind of like shows you how the potassium dichromate works. You can see that the silver is actually being reduced here, isn't it? The aldehyde is being oxidised from uh, to a carboxylic acid. The silver is being reduced from plus one to zero as silver metal here. So this is showing the oxidising agent. In this equation, this form of the equation which we use with the potassium dichromate, this would be simplifying all of this. So it's taken out all of this silver plus water, silver and H plus and just replacing it with that there. But obviously to explain Tollens test, you need the silver because it shows me that I'm making silver metal, which is really important. So that's Tollens test. You need to know the conditions. So you use a silver nitrate solution with ammonia in. You warm it up, you get a silver mirror if it's an aldehyde. You won't see if it's ketone. Why not? Well, because ketones won't be oxidised, will they? Um, so Fellin's test works in a similar way. You don't need to know the details so much of the reaction for this one. Um, you start off with copper 2 plus solution, which is blue. Um, and again, aldehydes are oxidised. This oxidises the aldehyde, so the copper is reduced. The copper is at copper 2 plus is reduced to copper 1 plus. Um, and this, so this goes from a blue solution and this comes out here as a precipitate um, of copper 1 oxide. So this comes out in the solution as copper 1 oxide as a solid and that's a brick red precipitate. So for this one, you see a blue solution give you a brick red precipitate if you have an aldehyde you won't see any change for ketone because again, ketones cannot be oxidized.